Coventry is always tough. The toughest city to, to, to if, if, if you play in Coventry and you can win Coventry crowd over, you'll make it. We had some tough nights in Coventry. Very tough night. <laughs> I think there's a there's a an urban quality to to a lot of the music that's come from Coventry, which comes uh, probably could only come from a, a town that was full of car factories at the time. There's a particular kind of um, uh, a particular kind of person and a particular kind of family and community that grows up around a manufacturing industry. I think. Um, and you could almost taste that in Coventry, I think, in the 80s when, uh, when King first started off. And the specials, I think, were, were a product of that too. Um, they, uh, so I heard somebody say once, Coventry is a place that no one's from. You know, people came from everywhere to Coventry for the work, but they weren't from Coventry. Um, and that, that gives a place a particular kind of flavour, I think particularly when it's all based around one industry and everybody that's worked with everyone. A lot of people that are doing the work in the area are all doing the same thing. So they've got that in common um, and they've got the place in common, even though they haven't got, at that point, a heritage in common. And I think that kind of, the disparate nature of the people gives rise to a particular kind of music and, and the specials were certainly part of that. And I, I think King were too. We weren't writing songs about calf, sort of going, let's write songs about calf. You know, we, we were writing tunes about our mates, but all our mates live in calf and are affected by everything that happens in calf. So, yeah, I mean, essentially, we were writing about our life in calf. You know, and, and every tune, every tune on that first album has got a bit of calf in it. Do you know what I mean? The second album is a bit more worldly because we were dotting all over the place, mm. but that first album is calf. I think um, growing up in Coventry and being I mean, Coventry in my psyche, so to speak, has definitely influenced my outlook on life. And in that respect, it will have obviously influenced things. You know, if you come from, when you, if you meet people who have come from, uh, like the Buscocks, when the Flies play with the Buscocks, for example, they're all Manchester lads and stuff like that. They seem more kind of um, clued in in those days, you know. And certainly living in Los Angeles, people are, were kind of more comfortable with their kind of pretension. So I was a bit of a rookie at being pretentious, so it all came over, you know, really screwed up. You know what I mean? That, there's a whole, there's a whole, there's a New York thing, there's a Los Angeles thing, there's a London thing, there's a Birmingham thing. I don't think there's ever been, in my experience, a kind of a Coventry thing, which is good in one respect, but it, it made it difficult to get a, a scene together, if you, if you like, because it was always a Manchester thing, so the Buscots were always like, I like we're monks, you know. And it's an oasis have got that, haven't they? You know, it's like backs against the wall, we're from Manchester and it's cool. The Beatles had that with the Liverpool thing. Um, and there's something kind of um, quaintly parochial about Coventry. It's where you come home to, isn't it, when you're really screwed up somewhere else. And I kind of like that. 